Hi everyone, and in today's video, we're just going to talk about the knee complex in particular for a moment. So, one of the questions we get asked regularly is when a patient presents with uh, non-specific clicking and locking in the knee, it can be a condition called osteochondral desiccants. Okay, so that's fancy for a piece of cartilage floating around the knee somewhere. Okay, now when people hear the word osteoarthritis in the knee, they tend to get a little bit worried. But what we try and tell people, look at the natural aging process, depending on the person's age, it can happen frequently. But Bear in mind, when they say this, um, try to investigate your own report, but have a professional, uh, trained professional review the report for you. But what's most common that we find is that it's patellar condomalacia, which means the back aspect of the patella, which lives inside the tendon, is usually too tight inside the top of your groove. And as the patient, if, this, if I hold this tendon here, and I bend the knee, it grinds and catches in that groove and it frictions and a piece of cartilage chips away, floats its way down and gets between the spaces between the head of the femur and the articular processes of the tibial plateau and the menisci. So it's kind of non-specific clicking and locking. It presents just like a meniscal injury, but it's non-specific as opposed to specific. Uh, generally, it's worse going up the stairs versus coming down, but again, it can be more non-specific. And the reason it's important to note that it can be this structure because the anatomy of the knee is a little bit different than some or most other joints. We have a combination of four bones. So we have our fibula, tibula, we have our patella, and our femur. Now what's interesting to note is that we have two specific joint capsules that encompass three different joint types. So we have our tib-fib joint on the lateral aspect, we have, and then we have our femorotibial joint and our femoropatellar joint. Now, what's interesting is that our femoral patellar joint and our femoral tibial joint are encompassed in the same joint capsule. Okay, so that's important because if this gets injured, it can affect the combination of bones below. Whereas if this one gets injured, it won't affect this joint in here. So when you hear arthritis, it doesn't necessarily mean that the menisci are worn out and we have compression from the upper and the lower bone. It generally means that we see more of, in my clinic anyway, we see more of patellar femoral uh, frictioning and patellar condomalacia, generally causing osteochondral desiccants or pieces of cartilage floating around the knee. Now the, the synovial fluid or hyaluronic acid, the, the gel inside your joints are generally designed to break that structure down over time and remove it, but on occasion it doesn't and it becomes problematic. So one of our jobs is to articulate the joint, free the piece out and refer back for imaging if it's required and we treat the respective musculature above because sometimes this is frictioning because the musculature above is inadequate for its task or too tight or, or, or too weak to do its task and excess frictioning happens at the knee joint. So that's one possible cause. There are more, but that's one possible cause of um, patellar femoral arthritis or patellar chondral malaysia causing osteochondral desiccants. Thanks for watching.